there were more than 30 of them. So we'd be spending a very long time, um, but they are on our website and we just appreciate all of your work. And we're happy to have Nicole here today with us to um, present an award. And finally, I wanna um, thank again, Bijan, our artists and residents who did an amazing job of curating these films um, so that we could have such a tremendous breadth of content from around the globe to celebrate today. Um, and so I think with all of that background shared and said, um, it's time to get the, the fun started. Um, and we couldn't uh, be kicking off this awards presentation with a better first presenter. Um, our partners at the Lantos Foundation for Human Rights and Justice uh, really help tell the story of what we're trying to do in this festival so well, honor and uplift these stories of human rights told by women around the world um, and help shine a light on what is happening in corners of the world that don't get this focus often. So we are really incredibly grateful to have the president of the Lantos Foundation, Katrina Lantos Sweat, here to present the award for best human rights documentary. Uh, and as Katrina's getting ready, I'll just share that the Lantos Foundation was established to help carry on Congressman Tom Lantos's proud legacy as a leading advocate for American engagement in human rights globally. They seek to advance human rights and justice by advocating for the United States and other democratic nations to prioritize these fundamental rights for all global citizens. Um, so again, Katrina, welcome. Uh, we're so grateful that you're here to announce our very first award. Well, I am thrilled and I am honored to be part of this fantastic um, award ceremony. I need to begin by congratulating Heidi for this really uplifting and inspiring initiative, the Women's Voices Now, and of course this uh, this documentary film competition, Chelsea, the whole team there at Women's Voices Now, you have really created something that is inspiring people, entertaining us, educating us, giving us a window into stories about women around the world that we otherwise would not know. And you should be very, very proud of the work you're doing. I also have to say a word about your fabulous, stunning, charismatic winner of the um, Women Making Waves um, Award this year, Adia Ahmed. I'm sure everybody who's been part of this conversation today was as moved as I was by not only the story of what she has done with her life and the way she's been such a leader, but with the hopeful and compassionate and insightful and wise words that she shared. So uh, you, you are inspiring to all of us, and I feel honored to be part of this program today. So as was said, I'm Katrina Lantos-Sweat. I'm the president of the Lantos Foundation for Human Rights and Justice. We are so proud to partner with Women's Voices Now to present the award and prize money for the best human rights documentary. It was the mission of our founder, my late father, Congressman Tom Lantos, to carry the noble banner of human rights to every corner of the world. Through support for this online film festival, and by lifting up these bravely told stories from around the globe, um, that's exactly what you are doing. And we are grateful for the opportunity to help in a small way to move this mission forward. The best human rights documentary is defined as an engaging, fact-based documentary film that both explores a human rights issue affecting women or girls and presents solutions, resources, or a call to action to address that issue. The Lantos Award for Best Human Rights Documentary and the 2000 Prize honors a film from any category that best illuminates a human rights champion or activist or examines a human rights issue. The winning film should be rooted in the recognition that the struggle for women's and girls' rights is inextricably linked to the fight for basic human rights for all people. Now, given the focus of Women's Voices Now Film Festival to uplift stories about issues facing women and girls around the globe, you can imagine that selecting one film was and is a real challenge. And I am very grateful for the work of the jury that was able to come to such an excellent decision. The award-winning film that we are very excited to give the prize to tells the story of Esti Shushan, who, despite a huge personal price, fights against her own beloved community to achieve rights for 600,000 Orthodox or Haredi women in her country. In Israel, ultra-Orthodox women have been forbidden to run 
for the Israeli parliament as people listed on their own party's parliamentary list. But as we see in this film, one woman's determination to change this injustice may be the catalyst to change this historic ban. Today, and I wish I had that envelope to rip open and that Oscar music coming in, but I want you all to imagine that as the, as the excitement and the tension builds. Today, I am so proud to announce the winner of the Lantos Award for Best Human Rights Documentary goes to Women of Valor by Anna Somershaf. Congratulations. והסביבה שלי זה נתפס כרצון לצאת נגד הדת. חשבו שבאמת השתגעת. אבל אני לא יכולה לשתוק יותר. יש פה קבוצה של 50 אחוז מהאוכלוסייה החרדית. היא צריכה להגיד כל הזמן שהכל בסדר. תגיד עם חיוך על הפנים, תגיד על הגז, אבל לא בסדר. אין לנו אף אישה חרדית שיושבת סביב אף שולחן של מקבלי החלטות. ואני מרגיש האמת שמי ששולח אתכם לפרק את החברה הישראלית. ממתי נהייתי לא חרדית אמיתית? מהרגע שהתחלתי לדבר על הנושאים האלה. במאה שנה לא הייתה אף מדינה שאישה יכולה להצביע. זה ברור לך שאני אגיד 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 שאני It's already putting them there to challenge the situation. They are exposed to threat and violence. We are here to complete the work of the suffering. <laughs> Congratulations again to Anna. I don't believe that she's here to join us to accept the award today, but we'll make sure she gets the prize. Um, for all filmmakers, if you are here, we will be asking you to share a few words after the trailer plays. And for the filmmakers who aren't, we'll be collecting an acceptance speech and making sure that those get out to everyone. We do wanna make sure everybody gets properly honored and has a chance to be recognized for their uh, award today. Um, next, I'm so honored uh, to bring to the virtual stage a member of our previewer committee, Nicole Stoffer, um, just to share a little bit about this uh, role uh, before we talk about the specific award. Um, each year, our film festival previewers take a look at that first round of our films. They help us sort through the more than 100, 140 plus submissions that we get, looking at each of these films to ensure that there's deep mission alignment so that we are really curating the best of selection of women rights films and stories from around the world. So we thank Nicole and our entire previewer committee for uh, being a part of this process. We encourage others who may wanna be a part of this process to reach out and join us in years to come. There's truly no limit to the number of people we can engage in this part of the work. And it's an incredible volunteer opportunity for those who enjoy film review. Um, Nicole uh, is here and we're really excited to welcome her to the stage now, Nicole. Greetings, everyone. Hi. Thank you so much. Um, it is such a pleasure to be here with you all today. My name is Nicole Stouffer. As Chelsea mentioned, I had the wonderful privilege of working with Women's Voices Now as part of the festival preview committee, where I got to watch and select some of the extraordinary films we are celebrating here today. For the filmmakers, to witness such bravery and resiliency as you forge the path of truth and impact in the fight to defend women's rights is something astounding. And I am truly in awe and inspired by your talents and dedication in leading the charge toward global gender equality. 